Where did the light go? <laughs> Today is a day of cloud cover. <gasps> oh no! It's cloudy. Where is the light? Well, the light shineth in the darkness. But Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A light cannot be put under a bushel. Ooh, no. It might kind of like catch on fire if it's like a flame. It's meant to be set on a hill so it could shine all around. You are that light. You were put on a pedestal, believe it or not, in God's eyes. You are that flickering flame that you seem to worry about whether you're going to go out. But by the Holy Spirit, He can give you enough oil that your flame will always flicker, but it won't be extinguished. You are the light of the world. You are the light of God. Your generation has gone into darkness and doesn't know where to turn to. As you walk in the light, as He is in the light, then you will know and feel and be filled with His Spirit so that you would be always bright, shining forth unto God's people and unto a world that needs to see from the darkness where to go, what to do, and what to be. You are that light. You're the light of the world. You were gracious, God, and merciful, and slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repent you of the evil. I beseech you, then, let the power of my Lord be great, according as you have spoken, saying, The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. And so it is. Oh, remember not against us our former iniquities, but let your tender mercies speedily prevent us from doing those things again. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for your name's sake, for we're just a flame, a flickering in the night. O Lord, though our iniquities testify against us, do thou it for thy name's sake, for our backslidings are many, and we have sinned against you. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. Behold the light that Jesus said. Men love darkness more than light, lest they come to the light and their deeds be revealed for what they are, which is sin and iniquity. But we come to the light for forgiveness. We come to the light for mercy. We come to the light for grace. We don't come to the light to prove that we're righteous or that we're holy. Oh no. As a matter of fact, the reason why we come to the light is just as Jesus said. The Holy Spirit will shine upon us and reveal our true nature, which is not after God, which is not righteous, but rather that light will expose us for who we are and then we will ask God for forgiveness to pardon all our iniquities to forgive us all our sins to bring back the sunshine that we might bask in his glory of favor and that we might enjoy the goodness of his loving kindness that we might feel the warmth of his love as he envelops us in the day that he made and creates for us when the sunshine rises and the sun, S-O-N, S-U-N, rises with healing in his wings. And when he does and he has restored us to a relationship with our Father, then the glorious light appears up over the horizon and shines upon his creation. And we see the light. And we behold it as the only begotten Son of God. And then we know and we feel and we experience the forgiveness, the mercy, and the grace, which is why we walk in the light as He is in the light.